Today we're going to be talking about our weekly task to um, keep the app up and running and what does that look like. There's four simple things to take care of. So let's pop over to the back end of the app. And once you're logged in, um, there's four different things. The first one is you're going to um, check to for all forms and see if there's anything that we need to update. So you just go to the content list and then you hit the little arrow and go to all forms. And once you start working in this, you'll notice if there's new things, because you'll notice that what number was on the last time you were there, and you'll see if there's anything new. So really what we're going to be checking for is um, create marketplace listing in case any new member has um, uploaded their, um, their signature page. And so currently we are occurring because Wonderful Morrison was the last one. So we'll go back and then you want to see, and especially between the about the 20th and the first of the month, um, some of the ladies are gonna be updating their pages, but you'll also wanna check this throughout the month every Monday when you are checking the app um, to see if anybody else has updated anything new in here. And just know sometimes too, the ladies put things in the wrong place. Oh, it looks like we do have a new, um, new listing here. And so we would need to go ahead and update her offer. And it doesn't look like we have anything that is listed there. So we would just want to follow up with Sherry Hervey and to see what um, to see what she thought she was uploading. It looks like there's no attached files at all. So we will check on that. And um, then you will want to check. So that was the marketplace listing. And that's where every month that the members can update their top offer. Um, uh, we would like check for your e different events if anybody has uploaded an event. And currently everything is uploaded, but you could just go here. And so what that looks like is just, it looks, uh, all the information is here. So I, to upload this, I opened up a new window on the Fave app and you would go to Let's see. Uh, to add an event, you just go to add. It says an article, video, or an event. So you go to an event. So the information that's just right on the form, you just put right into here. So um, being in a different country in the Philippines, you're going to need to um, possibly adjust the time and date. So we'll um, I'll get that to you because I forget how to do it right at the moment. Um, but you can add, you can add a, um, a graphic. So usually it's a graphic, their picture goes right here and the description goes here over where they have a link. So if it's a free event, just put the link in the description. If it's a ticketed event, you're going to put the ticketing service link right here, like if it's Eventbrite or um, one of the others that would go right here because then it'll create a button. But if it's a free event, the ladies like to not have that um, buy button and just put the free ticket link just right here. And you would hit the um, like say, click here and then put the uh, destination. You always have to hit external link, put the link in and then you hit OK. So that's um, if you have any questions, we can certainly go over that. Make sure you have the title, the date, the time. Um, again, if it's a Zoom, there would be nothing in that um, location because we would just say that it's a Zoom in the description. So that is how would that's the what the other thing that you'd be checking for is those events. And we are going to go back to content, content list to check our the rest of our forms. And let's go back to our forms. The other things that we check for is if anybody has um, added a story or a podcast, when a story comes through, um, you just have to hit on the button. Oh yes, and it has all the information. Again, you're gonna just copy and paste right into, and you're going to create an article. So you would just go to add, add an article and list everything that they have in that form right into the article. And if they have a podcast that actually um, is something that um, our app builder, John or Heather or Charlie need to upload for us because it's an RSS feed and it needs to go into the actual app uh, that we do not have access to. Um, so that is weekly maintenance on the app. Just to go over it quickly again. Oh, whoops. That's um, actually, there's a few more things to check on the app as well. Let me just get back to my list. So that is the first thing that you want to 
um, to check is the, um, to make sure all the forms are updated. The next thing you wanna check is go to community, go to user list, this is the number two thing. And you're gonna to wanna to see if there's any new members. And it looks like there is, there is this uh, uh, cat. Um, and let's go back, she is new. And let's find somebody who hasn't. So Maria Schultz, she has no designation here. She has no picture. So we would want to hit on her, hit on her name and we want to designate a group to her. We want to put her in lifestyle unless she is a member. And so you'll see the other, the Biz Plus members or the Marketplace members. Those are the two memberships we have. The lifestyle is for women who do not have a business. She does, does not have a business listed. So for her picture, we would go to our... Um, our little graphic that we have and upload that and then always hit save and let's see if it uploads it's been having a little troubles today now it looks like it may not have uploaded but we'll give it a minute and refresh so what it does if somebody has not um, added their photo we put in this little graphic where it says fave for them so it's not blank and the other then the next step that we would do is send to those people who are brand new. So Kat, Marie, and I see there's a few other new ones, Susie and Rami. Uh, we are going to send them all a live uh, message. And um, so you actually have to go to the front end of the app. And let's see if we can go get there today. Um, you're going to need to be logged in as, um, as Karen or if you send it yourself, uh, just let me know because we can do it that way. We can do it either way. You're going to go to chat and we have a designated message that goes out to any new member. And it's this message here. It just welcomes them to the community. It tells them who I am. So if you're sending it, you would just put your name and say that you're the executive VA here and you're welcoming them. It, um, invites them to um, create a lifestyle membership where they're going to get um, all access to all the exclusive discounts. And then if it is a businesswoman, we put in the, um, the little message about um, if they're a business, if they would like to know more about our membership. So we will, we'll have, we'll be crafting those messages. So, but that is one thing that is a weekly task for the app. The next thing, um, yes, yeah, so that was number three, send a welcome message. Number four is update their email to Mailer Light if they are a businesswoman. So if we go over to Mailer Light and let's share that tab, um, we are going to go to add a subscriber. And we're just letting it, so we're going to go to subscribers. We would want to put their name in and it's at a single subscriber. We don't have, sometimes we download if there's a lot of different people and that will be a separate video because um, that takes a little bit more doing. But if it's just a single person, it, like we had this one gal, let me just copy and paste her name. Um, let me grab where that was at. Um, Maria Schultz was her name. And so we're going to go back over to the um, to Mailer Light because we want to make sure that they're, uh, whoops, we had to grab her email. Well, you grab her email, grab her name, and then the group that you would add her to is the um, Fave app, and that is somewhere here. Oh, yes. Um, Let's see. It is called. Um, I guess I'm going to have to get back to you on what it's called because I'm not finding it here. I do fave app, app export list. So that's the that's the list we would add them to. But first you would want to check and make sure they're not already in our listing here because we we don't want to have people twice. So anyway, so that is the, just a recap for the app weekly on Mondays is check all the forms for updates. Number two is to uh, check for any new users and designate their if they're a lifestyle member. And number three is to send them a message. And number four is to update them to the mailer light. And that is our weekly tasks.